In this video, I'll be showing you five reasons why South Indian food absolutely destroys North Indian food. But first, let's back up. For those of you not living in India, you may be surprised to know that North Indian food is quite different from South Indian food. What? South Indian food is considered to be one of the most well-recognized cuisines around the world. Mm. Renowned for its crispy dosas, coconut-infused curries, and an abundance of rice-based dishes. It's coming out of the giant rice cooker that would make any Asian lady in Korea jealous. But how would these flavors shape the cuisine in Chennai, the capital of Tamil Nadu, in the southernmost state of India? Well, today, we're gonna find out. From a pancake bursting with savory curry goodness, challenging the best of any Waffle House menu. It became a uh, iconic dish here. All the way to a biryani factory, churning out 15,000 pounds of rice every day. Every day, normally 5,000 to 7,000 kgs of biryani. Particularly in Sundays, we are making 10,000 to 12,000 kgs. So get ready, because we're taking a tour of the most iconic South Indian treasures from Chennai. In our journey with Chennai's favorite cheap breakfast dish, a donut that's stolen the hearts of Tamil Nadu's locals since its creation in 1951. <laughs> Introducing Medu Vada. This famous South Indian breakfast is crafted using one of India's most highly prized and expensive legumes, the legume known as black gram, exclusively grown in the southern part of India and also northern Bangladesh and Nepal. But that is it and it is very exclusive. To make this dish, start by blending the black gram soaked overnight into a thick batter. Next, add our seven spice ensemble. Black pepper, cumin, aromatic curry leaves, zesty green chilies, red onions, a dash of salt, and a hint of pepper root. Mix everything well. Then take a blob of batter and with a little thumb magic, sculpt it into a donut shape before dropping it into the fryer. This trick ensures our donuts cook up evenly, giving you that perfect crunch from the outside to the inside. Once they are perfectly golden brown, take them out and serve. Unlike its sugary cousin, this savory donut brings all the heat. It's a flavor journey, a pilgrimage of pleasure, where legumes and spices collide into a spicy tango, unleashing a pepper and curry explosion. And in the texture department, it's a tag team effort, a crispy coat embracing a fluffy cloud-like center. Fun fact, Madhu means soft, while Vada is a type of Indian savory fritter. Now, introducing an irresistible sweet sensation that steals the spotlight at every public holiday or wedding in Chennai. Get ready for a sugar rush, because this egg-based delight is not holding back. I'm not kidding. It packs a whopping 10 pounds of sugar. When will you guys believe me? This thing is gonna be very, very sweet. Let's take a look. Actually, Mukta Mithai bolte hai ki Mukta means aake Tamil mein yek bolte hai. And Mithai bolne ka matlab ki Urdu mein jo bolte Mithai, so Mukta Mithai yek sweet bolte hai is commonly. Wo taste bhot acha laga mujhe. Baad mein khane khane mein mujhe dil mein laga ki yehi business kyu karo. Baad mein ye concept utha ke mein business chalu kia. Uska naam jo hai Salim Sweets. Behold the Mata Mitai. This recipe emerged just over six decades ago, casting a spell on the taste buds of Tamil Nadu ever since. Now it's the star dessert at almost every local event. First things first, crack a couple dozen eggs into a bowl. Yes, I said dozen, many dozens. Next, the koya. It's a thick dairy ingredient, somewhat similar to dry ricotta cheese, made from dried whole milk or whole milk thickened on an iron pan. 
carefully fold that into the egg. Follow that with all the sugar you can find at Indian Costco. Here, it was more than 10 pounds. While folding, add the magical ingredient. No, not more sugar, I'm talking about ghee, also known as clarified butter. Now place it over a gas stove and using a hand blender, mix everything well until it gains a custard-like texture. For the final step, glaze up a tray with a bit of ghee and pour in our eggy mixture. Bake everything for 6 hours and serve. Imagine a smoky, creamy egg custard with a seriously sugary kick. Blame it on the ghee or the irresponsible volume of sugar. But despite its simplicity, this treat is bursting with rich, intricate flavors that'll leave you craving for more. Chennai, a massive coastal hotspot in India. It boasts a cuisine that's heavily influenced by its oceanic surroundings. Seafood reigns supreme here, served up in countless delicious ways. But the seafood that's topping the charts? The legendary fish fry. Seriously, it's everywhere. Say hello to the palm frit fish fry, known locally as Vaval Min Varuval. This spicy, shallow fried delight has that magical power to turn everyone into a die-hard seafood enthusiast. Even that one cousin with a seafood allergy would give it all up to try this. You'll see why as we get to the cooking lady's secret steps. First, she carefully washes the pomfret fish, then scores its entire body using the traditional boti knife. Next up, the spice game begins. She adds salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder, and fenugreek powder. You probably thought she was done. Well, you thought wrong. After a few splashes of water, she adds a blend of ginger, turmeric, and fish masala. Mix it up for those flavors to mingle and work their magic. Finally, it's frying time. 15 to 20 minutes till it's crispy to the bone. This dish, it's the epitome of comfort food in Tamil Nadu, the pomfret fish. White, flaky, and oh so tender. After a solid 20 minutes in that oil, it's crispy on the outside and fall off the bone soft on the inside. Simple, yet delicious. And now, your cousin with a seafood allergy is dead. Get ready to dive into the ultimate dosa experience. We're talking a dosa stuffed to the brim with juicy mutton curry, an egg surprise, and all of it topped with even more spiced drenched mutton. This, my friends, could very well be the heavyweight champion of meaty dosas. Simakal Konarka Day is a restaurant which is originated in Madurai in a place called Simakal around 1943. After uh, 20 years of time, 1963 around, Hari Dosa specific dish has been invented. It is invented by Mr. Manikam Konar. His father, Mr. Sundram Konar, founded Hari uh, Konarka Day. And so from then, uh, almost 8 years it has been uh, here. From that time, uh, it, uh, it has started the story of Hari Dosa. <laughs> Let's dive into Chennai's culinary wonders, dosas and curries. But why settle for one or the other when there's a dish that masters both? Meet the mutton curry dosa, one of the city's most magical food creations. Step 1. Spread that dosa batter on the hot tawa. Step 2. Top it with a dose of rich mutton brain gravy. Step 3. Crack an egg right on top and mix it all together to create a fatal 15-car pileup of flavor in your mouth. Step 4. Enter the star ingredient, mutton suka. If it came from a cow, we would call it brisket. But this is intensely seasoned chest meat that's been cooked low and slow. Flip it, let that meat caramelize, and you've got yourself a dosa fit for royalty. This dish is experienced in layers. First, a crispy, nearly violently seasoned mutton meat kicking off the flavor parade, followed by a creamy curry mixed with egg at the heart of it all. And to seal the deal, the final layer, a warm, slightly crispy dose of batter that ties everything together. <laughs> 
before we put an end to this onslaught of South India's culinary excellence, let's shine a spotlight on the ingredient reigning supreme, not just here, but across all of India. I'm talking about rice, basmati rice. And if there's a dish that's the ultimate rice ambassador, it's biryani. For our final escapade, we're making a pit stop at a biryani factory, where they're churning out a mind-blowing 11 to 15,000 pounds of biryani each day. That's almost enough biryani to feed your mom. Our biryani style is Chennai style Muslim wedding biryani. Biryani was popularized by Muslims because they only brought it to the Tamil customs by the wedding biryani. They know about the cooking timing and uh, dum biryani. That is the only the special thing. So Muslims are using mostly dum biryani. That is a fine quality biryani compared with any other style. Dum biryani is a most favorable for all the people. Our biryani is not so spice compared with other biryanis. And uh, our biryani is easily digestible. Biryani is probably one of the first dishes that comes to mind when you mention Indian cuisine. But did you know there are over 70 different varieties of biryani? Here, they make it in the dum style. And that is dum spelled D-U-M. This style originated from the Arabic Peninsula, and it's more similar to a plum than other classic biryanis. Instead of layering in the ingredients as usual, they mix everything together in a huge pot. Start by frying up red onions with ghee in a giant cauldron. Once they're golden, add ginger garlic paste and diced tomatoes. For seasoning, add salt, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. Now it's time for the protein. Here, they like to wash the chicken thighs, season them with turmeric powder, then drop them in the main cauldron, followed by water and fresh coriander leaves. Finally, add the par-cooked rice and let it boil for another 45 minutes to complete the dish. When the cooking is finally complete and the lid is removed, you'll be greeted by something glorious. Despite its colossal production, this biryani is on a whole different level. Every grain of rice is infused with those aromatic spices, making each bite an absolutely blissful experience. Now that we've gone through the most iconic dishes in Chennai, showing off the amazing variety South India has to offer, it's time for us to pick our favorite. Was it the crispy medu vada, the eggy mutta mitai, the flavor-packed mutton curry dosa, the legendary fish fry, or the mouth-watering biryani? Today, the biryani stole the show for me. The mastery of crafting such delectable food on a grand scale and then serving thousands with affordable, high-quality dishes, well, that is just plain old worthy of my respect. So how about you? Which one of these Chennai classics would you try for yourself? Let me know downstairs in the comments below. And for more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Thanks. Bye. Elevate your style with our brand new clothing collection. Rock out in our threads, feel the thrill of culinary adventures, and celebrate with us in style. Head on over to beffers.shop today.